I hope you are all enjoying your summer. Happy, 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 happy summer. Hi friends. I wanted to read a great book today and it's called, And Then Comes Summer. Boys and girls, we all love summer because the weather is nice and there are so many fun things that we can do outside. In the winter, we're kind of stuck indoors, right? But in the summer, we can go hiking, we can go to the beach, we can go to the park, we can play in our backyard endlessly. Um, and my kids, what they're loving about summer is that they can sleep a little bit later and they, at night, they get to go to bed a little bit later um, and it stays lighter later. So at nighttime, it doesn't start to get dark until 8, 30, 9 o'clock. You guys know in the fall, it starts to get dark around five, right? So we are loving the longer days of summer. And then comes summer by Tom Brenner. When the days stretch out slowly like a yawn and leaves and grasses sparkle with dew and the cheerful faces of Johnny jump ups, jump up. See those pretty flowers? I bet in your backyard or your front yard, your garden is blooming. Right now, my hydrangeas are bright blue and there are so many of them. I keep bringing them to my neighbors to share because they're so pretty. Then throw on flip flops and breathe in the sweet air. How many of you are wearing flip flops right at this very minute? right? Can't do that in fall or winter. When bumblebees bumble around in flowers and warblers flip from tree to tree and the air thrums with the sound of lawnmowers. Don't laugh, but during the summer, one of my favorite days is Thursdays because that's when our lawn guys come and they make our lawn beautiful by cutting the grass. It just is like the highlight. When I come home from work and the lawn is cut, my husband even makes fun of me. He texts me, I know this is your favorite day. Yes, they cut the lawn and it looks so nice. Is that weird? But I love it. Then pump up your bike tires, dig out your helmet and raise your seat. My, how you've grown. How many of you are riding your bikes right now? Oh yeah. When the last class project is finished and your cubby is cleaned of cookie crumbs and eraser bits and end of the year hugs have been given, we did not so many things of that nature, right? Because of COVID-19, but we did get to have some celebrations on Zoom. Then swap out backpacks and notebooks for pitchers and cups. How many of you have ever tried a lemonade stand? My boys tried this last summer and when I tell you that they made over $50, you would be very impressed. And their lemonade was good. I think they added a lot of sugar. When daylight pushes back bedtime and crickets crick crick in the evening air and bugs as big as thumbs bang against windows. Um, mm -mm, Mrs. Mac does not like bugs. Then play hide and seek until darkness wins. We don't play hide and seek outside. We love, in the McInerney household, we play hide and seek inside our house, right before bed. And guys, Mia always wins. She gets the best hiding spots because she's so tiny. It's not fair, we can never find her. Her and Micah. When stores unfurl the stars and stripes and flags wave from porches and cars and the whole town seems wrapped in bunting, then dress up your bike and pedal to the parade. <gasps> you know they're talking about 4th of July, right? We celebrated that last weekend. I hope you guys had fun. When bands march by left, right, left, right, and all manner of floats flow past, and scouts and pioneers toss candy. Oh, <gasps> yum, I love candy. Then grab your blanket and watch the night explode in colorful sprays. <gasps> Raise your hand if you did fireworks. We did in our front yard with our friends and neighbors and we even had sparklers, so fun. When every day is like a Saturday, because we get to sleep in, and porches and lawns and sidewalks are playgrounds and a familiar jingle interrupts the game, then race to be first in line. Almond fudge, please. How many of you have seen the ice cream truck? 
When the dog days of summer roll around and it's so hot you're practically panting and not even the sprinklers provide relief, then it's time to head to the lake. Boys and girls, did you know Mrs. Spees has a lake house? She, her heart is always at the lake. She loves going there and spending time at the lake. She has a boat, it's so nice. Roll down the window and smell the hot, dry grass. Shout your favorite songs at birds, swooping across fields and ask for the millionth time, are we there yet? None of you guys ask that question, do you? Road trip. When the familiar sign appears at last and the silver lake winks through the trees and old friends run to greet you. Aww, that looks like camping or going to a lake. Then scramble out of the car, dash down to the beach and swim till the sun is low and your lips are blue. Mia's lips are always blue. I'm like, Mia, are you cold? Nope. And that girl will knock it out of the water for anything. She is a little fish. And when dinner is over and stories have been told and your fingers are sticky with marshmallow and chocolate, oh, who makes s'mores? And the fire burns down to glimmering coals. We do this every summer at Camp of the Woods. We do a bonfire at night and we make s'mores. The more chocolate, the better. Then snuggle into your sleeping bag and plan tomorrow's adventures. Boys and girls, I hope you are enjoying every bit of summer. We have so much more time to enjoy summer. You have about two more months. So soak it all in, take advantage of every single day, and remember to say thank you to mom and dad for just being so great and so wonderful. Have a great summer. I'll read to you next Friday.